couples is when is enough enough when it comes to fertility and the challenges that they've experienced along the journey. You know, one of the things that I often say is that you need to do a very important test. And it's this is a diagnostic test of a different kind. The, the real test here is figuring out what does it look like when you're sitting on your rocking chair at 90 years of age, looking back at your life, looking back at specifically this period in your life. And the things that you do or don't do or have done or haven't done, thinking those pieces through from that lens, using you know that 90 year old you sitting on your rocking chair on your porch as a lens to figure out what are the things that I wish that I would have done or would have not done to make decisions about the next steps on your fertility journey. A lot of people come to me with that burning question of, is this the right thing? Should I keep going? You know, am I going to regret doing or not doing? And those are questions that really only you can answer about your life, how you feel, and the decisions that you need to make from this point in time toward whatever it is that you want. There is no right or wrong answer. You know, when I started doing this work over 20 years ago, it wasn't a situation where a couple could decide that they absolutely wanted a baby and that they would have one. Technology has come such a far way, a far, you know, kind of way um, along the path and the journey that it's one of those things these days, if you're willing to put in enough effort, time, energy, and money, you will end up with a baby if that is truly what you want. And really almost at any age, the people who come to us who typically don't get that outcome, absolutely correctly for them, they've decided to draw a line in the sand. You know, they've decided to say, you know what, I want to try this up until natural conception and that's where I'm going to draw my line in the sand. I'm not interested in doing IVF or any other donor egg or any other kind of intervention beyond natural conception. Or they will say, yep, absolutely, I will do IVF and you know, I'll do one or two or three cycles and that's where I'll leave it. Some will do 30 cycles before they decide that they want to change strategy. Others are like, you know what, I want a baby so much that I am happy to get a donor egg, get my husband's sperm, get a surrogate and have a baby. So there are so many different ways of ending up with the result that you want these days, whether it's donor embryo, donor egg, donor sperm, natural conception, IVF, you name it. The critical question is what do I truly want? What is going to sustain me and fulfill me toward the result that I want to create? Because if you truly decide that you want to have a baby, you will. The question really isn't then about whether it's the time to stop, whether you should give up, whether this is ever going to happen. If you're flexible on the how, the outcome is practically guaranteed. So then you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out, okay, what am I willing to accept? What am I willing to do? What is it that I want? Because what you want will determine what you will do to get what you want. So if there is a test that you need to do, and of course, in terms of diagnostics, there are a whole lot, and we'll talk more about that in these segments, in upcoming segments. But this is the first test, really, that you must do to be able to understand what do I truly want and what will I be willing to put in, to invest physically, emotionally, financially, relationship-wise, in order to get my ultimate outcome. So go ahead and do the test, sit yourself, close your eyes if you need to, look back on your life from that vantage point and that lens of being 90 years of age, sitting on your porch, on your rocking chair, and ask yourself the question, what do I truly desire? Until next time, bye for now.